What's the matter, Sherry? Aren't you even going to have the courtesy to say hello? This is some kind of twisted joke! Don't be like that. Zophis is telling you the truth, Sherry. Sherry! Are you taking it easy on me? When will you realize I'm not being controlled by Zophis? I like being with him. You see, he gave me my own chance to become the new me. It's my pleasure to invite you into the shadows! Jerry, do you think that I was ever really your friend? Indeed, a long time ago, I saved you when you fell into the river. I sympathized. After all, like me, you were living a dismal life. But our opposite positions in life were too great a rift. The clothes we wore and the food we ate were different. I was poor and you were rich. So, do you still think we were best friends? Our whole time together, I always wanted to outdo you. I desperately searched for my own special talent, thinking I mustn't lose to you. But no matter what we did, you were always better than me. I lost, lost, and lost to you. So I, I hated my life. I hated you more. Sherry, I wonder if you remember that one incident. Your 10th birthday party. That party of yours you invited me to. <sighs> yes, the worst day of your young life to that point. I was the one who put your handkerchief in that room. That's right, I was the culprit. I did it to make you miserable. What do you think? Did it work? And if you remember, weeks earlier you showed me how to unlock the room where the necklace was kept under glass. Sherry, look! Beautiful, isn't it? You recognize it, don't you? It's the family heirloom necklace your mother loved. Tell me, how's it look? How could a rich girl like you ever relate to my problems? This is some kind of twisted joke!